Welcome back to Cooking with the Stars with Benedetto. Today we're going to be preparing braised beef short ribs with ramps and braised asparagus. Come into my kitchen. To prepare the beef short ribs, we need to sear the meat on both sides to make sure all the juices stay inside. So I start with salt and peppering both sides of the beef short rib. You want to get a good seasoning on that because it's going to be braising for a long time. I preheated this cast iron pan, put some oil in the pan to sear it off, and just put it flesh down. We want to make sure all sides are golden brown. This will sear in the juices of the meat and keep it nice and moist. Once they've been seared on all sides, you want to remove the meat from the pan. And in the same pan and oil, we're going to be sauteing our mirepoix. Now, mirepoix is a French term for onions, carrots, and celery. This is going to give our stock that we're cooking the meat in a lot more flavor. It's going to infuse the meat with flavor. So I'm adding some onion, some celery, and carrots. You want to stir this up. Saute this for about a good minute and a half. I'm only sauteing about a minute and a half because I cut them on a smaller dice. We're going to add some flavoring agents. So I'm going to add some spring of rosemary, a nice bay, fresh bay leaf. Some sage would be nice for this as well. So we're going to add the beef short rib back inside. I'm going to add a little bit of tomato paste. And I'm going to add some beef broth. I'll just add all of this in. You want to mix this all up. And you want this to simmer for about an hour and 45 minutes to a good two hours. Now, you could tell the doneness by taking a fork and poke it in the middle to see if it comes out tenderly. So, in the meantime, I'm going to cover it and let it cook. To accompany this dish, we're going to make a nice asparagus puree. And to do so, I'm taking some asparagus. I want to do is I'm going to cut it in half and then cut it lengthwise once again on the side. I'm going to start with some extra virgin olive oil inside the saucepan. I'm going to start with some garlic. A little bit, it needs a little bit more oil. I'm going to add the asparagus that I've cut into the oil, into the pan. I'm going to add a bay leaf inside for a little bit of flavor. I just want to twist this like so. Add some salt. Oop. That one got away. So after this has been cooking for about two minutes, you want to add some kind of vegetable stock. To and we're going to cook that for about 15 minutes until it gets nice and tender and we're going to puree this asparagus. And we're going to use this as a, a bed for our beef short rib to rest upon. It's going to be nice. I'm going to add our vegetable stock inside. Just enough to coat the vegetables from the top. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on top as well. Bring this to a boil. And then we're going to cover this. The asparagus seems to be ready, so I'm going to puree it and put it in the blender. I'm going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and puree. And to prepare for our side dish, we're going to make a sauteed ramps, asparagus, 
and yellow wax beans. To start, there's always a little extra virgin olive oil inside the sauteed pan. I'm going to add some rosemary to infuse a little bit of flavor into the oil. So I'm going to start with some asparagus. Just make sure to get that tossed around properly. And just a little bit of salt. I'm going to add some yellow wax beans. And last, we're going to add in our ramps. Ramp is a delicious vegetable for me. It's a wild onion that grows only in the springtime. It's a very seasonal vegetable. So when it comes to harvest, I take advantage of it. So you add in the bulbs. I'm going to add some of the greens as well. <laughs> we should let this cook for about three minutes and it should be ready. And we're ready to plate. First I'm going to plate the vegetables. I like to have my vegetables on the side because I don't like all the sauces and everything mixed together with the vegetables. So I like to have different components. I'm going to add this to our plate. We have the asparagus, the ramps, the yellow wax beans. Oh, it smells great. Perfect. And now we're ready to plate just like the vegetables. First, I'm going to take our asparagus puree, add it to our plate down in the middle. Carefully removing the short rib and just placing it in the middle of the plate. Like so. I'm using the cooking liquid as our sauce. What I did was I strained the sauce through a chinois and poured it into a saucepan and continued cooking for about 15 to 20 minutes. What this does is reduce the sauce and concentrate the flavor and to give it a nice texture to the sauce. So I'm just going to pour just a little bit on top, just to coat the meat, just around. They have, garnish it with a piece of rosemary. And there you have it, braised beef short rib with asparagus puree.